Hey guys, what up? It's 7 Devo 7 and basically my project today is I want to take this Hobby King Prime Jet Pro and give it uh, some love here because it needs a little bit of help. Um, what I'm finding is at high speeds basically I'm getting um, the wings are flexing when I'm giving it input and basically it gives it input and basically the wing bends in compensation for it. So. Uh, and the, the flex tends to happen on this half of the wing here, not so much here on the inside. So I think I need to strengthen up this X section here. It seems like the Elevon is actually strong enough. It's actually quite stiff. This uh, board material is quite nice. So my thoughts here are I might actually take some old form bo foam board or some straight foam board at least and maybe run a strip of it from the back here all the way up to the top here because it's got these two spars here but without anything joining them together it's kind of floppy like a noodle so i think if i butt something up against the body here the fuselage and bring let's say a, an inch through here hopefully it won't create too much uh, uh turbulence but if i bring it all the way from here all the way up to this point here it may stiffen up this section i might put a little Y section coming out to here because it, it will pivot off of this point otherwise. So uh, high speeds what was happening, so I was basically getting locked out of my control, so it basically I had to slow down first and then suddenly I would regain control. I, like I said, I think it's just the wing bending in compensation from whatever inputs I'm giving to the wing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put you guys on time lapse and I'll um, talk to you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm back and basically I've made the reinforcements and instead of going with a big strip, I decided just to kind of leave these pieces as big as they are. They're not that heavy and these are gonna really, uh, these, uh, the regular foam board is actually quite stiff. So uh, it's really gonna help this model um, get bolstered up in the spots where it needs to be. So basically I just made one side, I cut it out, I cut it around the servo so I could access the servo later on instead of covering this up. I had to cut off the little nubs from the uh, vertical stabilizer, which is not a problem. It doesn't weaken anything. But this fits in there, just like a glove here. Um, the hardest part is gonna be, for me, is gonna be to put enough hot glue down and to like hold one side and hold the other at the same side at the same time. So um, it's always a calamity when you have, <laughs> you only about 15 seconds of working time. So, and you know, I'm, working with something that's semi-flexible. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think I'm gonna hold it down like this. Yeah, and it's hard to do. So um, I'll get this, maybe I'll, I'll basically I'm gonna be holding it like this. Or maybe I can get a clamp, I'll clamp this and I'll hold it, the other parts here. So anyway, I'll put you guys back on time-lapse. guys so here is the finished product uh, like I, I, you guys probably saw in the video I I tapered the front edges of these uh, foam boards so it'll actually have more of an airfoil I could actually fill this in with a little uh, Gorilla Glue and make it puff up and then cut the excess off to make it really really smooth uh, but I think the result came out really nice if you can see now the the wing is quite stiff so I'm really happy to try this out so and you know I like to be critical of products, you know, when things, you know, don't go right, but this is a cheap product. And I, if I'm gonna make a criticism of something, I'm always gonna say, well, here's how you make it better. This might make it better and it might make it fly horribly. So we'll find out in the next video, guys. But anyway, thanks for, for joining my video. I don't think the weight is gonna be a huge factor. And since I have the battery pushed all the way back, this will allow me to run my battery a little bit further forward and play with the CG a bit. So let's see where the CG is right now. So now it is just a tiny bit tail heavy. So, so like I said, guys, uh, check out my next video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.